Let's get this thing going. Uh, we've got a game that does not come out for, and this is true, like two months to start up with. It is called, and I love this, The Texorcist. Textorcist. The Beta Testorcist, which is a pretty funny joke. That's right, it's a typing game about banishing demons. You're welcome, world, for letting you play this. And thank you, the developer, uh, for letting me play this. Uh, whoops, I forgot to switch the recording back off of screen. My bad. And I accidentally closed the game. Alright, it might not be super stable yet. <laughs> Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game, The Texter Cyst. Uh-oh. This, this game may not be stable quite yet. Apparently my, uh, my time with this game is going to involve just sending them a bug report about the fact that I can't get their game loaded. Uh, which is too bad, but I'm, I'll send them my computer details and, you know, we'll see what comes of it. Oh! That's new. Yeah, so it just crashes at the same point every time. Yeah, isn't epistory great? Or epistory? It's not how it's pronounced. Alright, so we're just going to try restarting Steam to make sure if that makes a to make sure, to check if that makes a difference. Uh, and if it does, well then we'll be playing that game, and if we, if it doesn't, well, we'll just move on to what's next. But yeah, I'm a big fan of typing games. Ever since, you know, the games that taught me to type as a child. And then we moved on into your typing of the dead. Your epistory. There aren't a lot of typing games out there, but I'm a big fan of the genre. Anytime you're ready, Steam. Alright, here we go. Apparently Shadow of War is not on sale, yet they're putting it on the front page as featured and recommended. It probably was on sale until yesterday, and they just haven't gotten around to updating their recommendations. Yeah, I'm not going to buy you Shadow of War, because you had all that microtransaction crap nonsense in, in it. And you say, well, they took those out. And I'm like, yeah, but do I trust that the game still doesn't suck? I don't know that I do. All right, so the game will not load past that point. So let's just get a, um, let's just do a bug report video. Oh, it does not have a page yet. All right. All right, let's hit it. Hi, developers of the Texture Cyst, uh, the Beta Tester Cyst. Uh, you sent me this review copy of the game from the Hidden Object Guru BT Dubs, and uh, when I try to play it, this happens. We get the we get the music. It's nice. We get that logo, and then yeah, right there, it consistently crashes at exactly that moment every single time. So I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. I'll contact you on the Steam forums for how to do a more detailed bug report. But for now, psych to try out your game, because I love typing games. And that was my bug report. Uh, so yeah, I will uninstall it and try it again later as well. Actually, you know what, if it's that tiny, uh, let's see if it's tiny. Let's just try it again right now. All right. Uh, but anyway, yes, I tried out a bunch of VR games today, so those videos are going to go up. Astraeus is amazing. It's like the fourth VR game this one guy has made, and each one has been better than the last, and it's a very entertaining holographic strategy game. Love it. Thumbs up. Uh, Astraeus. So it's star-themed. And you'd be wrong about that, because it's actually asteroid-themed. If you assumed it was our hand. Come on. The reinstall worked, right? No. Okay, it's just just not happening. You know what? I feel like it got slightly farther that time. And I've got them both on tape, so I can check for myself later. Oh, how disappointing. 
All right, uninstall. Yes. I haven't played Internet Simulator yet, but I'm very excited to. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with Dungeons of Tal'Doria, which is an online uh, dungeon crawly type of thing. Very low. Ouch. Let's see what extreme graphics do to my frame rate, huh? <laughs> Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Dungeons of Tal'Doria. This one is in early access. Still being actively development. Uh, being ab actively developed. But, which is weird, because they say this is version 1.1.0a. Now, maybe they've changed this policy, but I thought anything below 1.0 was considered a beta. Right? Anyway, let's, uh, let's play the game. New character! Uh, my name is Hogaru. Feel like you probably should know that. They're gonna add new species. Is 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 Archer, obviously. Uh, hardcore mode. <laughs> this option's not working yet, but whenever it will, uh, you will not be revived after you died. Okay, I'm just gonna fix that for you. But when it is, you will not be revived after you die. See? All right, that's that's what you have to change that to. Now I'm just being a jerk. All right, let's go, Hogaru, human archer. I can find dungeons while exploring a biome. Okay, so it's uh, it's dungeon crawling and it's a bit of Terraria slash Minecraft. That that general vibe. I got what they're going for. Okay, you can move through the do to do to do. I really thought I was going to be able to use my joystick. Got it all ready to go. On the bottom of the screen is your action bar. You can put consumable items in your skills on any field. Ugh. Field? Saddle is clearer, but... Yeah, anyway. Uh, press the corresponding key on your keyboard to use... Like, I just want to point out. We're not using Excel, okay? You don't have to call them field. Why am I nitpicking about this? Uh, you press Alt to make your cursor visible without opening any window. Good to know. Le by pressing the left mouse button, you are using your basic attack. Oof. Try it out in the chest close to you and collect the stuff with F. So, as always, I'm going to make the same offer I always do when people are not 100% solid in their English. If you pay me the low, low price of $1 per page of text in the game, uh, you can contact me here on the channel or wherevs. For the low, low price of $1 per page of all the text in the game, or whatever text you need proofed, I will proof your text and make it readable. Basically, just fix the English. Alright, so... Let's try this. Yay! You can hold down the button to just continuously attack. You found your first food. Nice. There are two types of food. Okay. Temporarily... Oh, nice! Okay. You should make better food by pressing N to open your crafting window. Ah. Yes, let's make some grilled potatoes. I mean, I feel like I would need a grill, but whatevs. Thank you! Alright. I guess that's that. Oh, wait, did you want me to keep crafting the grilled potatoes? That actually makes a lot of sense. I can't make... Ugh, I can't queue up more than once. That's a little sad. Oh, and then I'll pass a level from having crafting experience. Each skill will get slightly stronger each time you use them. Oh, that's, that's a dangerous way to build a game, guys. Um, if you build a game where you're... Skills get stronger via you using them. Then you put your player in a position where... Can I drag that over to Q or E? Because that seems like it'd be way better at E. There we go. Um, that's going to cost them to just lean on that one thing over and over. Uh-oh. Yes, he parried and parried an arrow. Feed your first enemy and just drop it. Okay, make sure you heal potions or healing food in your action bar. Press the corresponding key. I know. 
Ooh, a new bow. Nice. Benditos! Benditos with more health than I have experienced before. Ow. And who are good shots. Like, really good shots. I think it's the haircut. I think it's her haircut. Can I get a better bow? Or... No, okay. Maybe it wasn't actually a better bow. Headshot do more damage? Well, I guess we'll have to wait to find out, won't we? Oh my god. 8, 8, 10. Nah, it's always doing the same. Yeah, take your shot, Bendito. Ah, what you didn't know about me is I can shoot while moving. You might have known that about me. I don't know you. Focus is 7 out of 10. Oh, focus is how you do spell points. Nice. Cool. Alright. I gotta stop going for headshots when I know for a fact they don't do any bonus damage. Can I at least get critical hits or some such? Or... Oh, I should move, then do the thing, then move, then do the thing. Okay. That'll work a lot better. Alright, let's go find a dungeon. Yay, tattered cloth! Now I can craft a thing. Can I have the book? I cannot have the book. Right, if you were a dungeon, where would you be? I know that looks more like a town than a dungeon, but, you know, where else are you going to find a dungeon but on the outskirts of a town? It's just a logical place to build a dungeon. Or right at the center of town, conversely. Wow, there's a lot of banditos, aren't there? Oh, the skull over his head means he's over-leveled for me, doesn't it? Well, I just take that as a challenge. Oh my god, he looks so crazy. Oh, there better be a ton of experience and a better weapon in this for me. No, he got me! Oh, no, he's got friends! Oh, this was a poorly thought-out plan. Luckily, I'm constantly healing, which is nice. I just realized I might have a run button. Oh, dodge roll, which is almost as good as running. Yeah! Maybe we should ra wait until some of my focus comes back before I try to keep this going, because this is proven to be something of a disaster. Come on! How many of these guys are there? Maybe they don't like torches. Hoguru, they spawned next to a campfire. Oh, right. I'm kill- What?! Where did the Bendito go?! What the hell was that?! Oh, uh, they can just magically disappear if you get them too far away from their spawn point? Yeah, that sounds like garbage to me. What you're describing is garbage. Alright, I'm checking out this house instead. They better have a likewise super tough guy for me to kill. In case you're wondering, did that guy just parry an arrow I fired at his back that he didn't know was coming? Yeah, he's basically, uh, what do you call that dude? Daredevil. He's essentially Daredevil. Okay. Ooh, a Master Tanner. Oh. No. Fine. So. I'm not a fan of Benditos. Is it strange? Like, is there something wrong with the fact that I'm continuously healing? Because I don't remember using any items to make that happen. So go B for inventory. Ah. Right, so let's put those roasted potatoes in my... Oh, that's weird. Did I not make a bunch... Oh, that, that's a roast potato. Okay. Did not really look like one to me, but here we are. Merci beaucoup. 
Alright, seriously though, we have to find a dungeon. This is... Perfectly fine to just be dealing with... Oh, look, it's the wall at the end of the world! I'm kidding, it's just the wall that uh, separates this biome from the next biome. Ooh, what's all that lumber? There's lumber on the map. Okay, it was just a tree. Why does that tree, apart from all the other trees... Oh! No. So all the other trees you can't destroy, but those trees you can. I understand completely. Jerk. I mean, I know that I'm the one ambushing him like some sort of a filthy road agent, but, you know. Yay, armor! Ooh, automatically equipped. Nice. What the hell? Okay, I turned it creepy immediately. What's going on there? Okay, fine. Co oh. Ah, yes, I've reached 2-4. Biome level 2-4? What does that mean? More importantly, what did you think you were trying to say, game? Well, these guys seem pretty tough. Ow. 48 experience points is nice. Hey, nice. Okay. Alright. Offense and defense. Great. What is... When do I pass a level? You want to give me a heads up about that? Because C is that. It's not character sheet. There's my... Hey, rapid fire's up to level 2. Nice. Uh, Z? No. Crafting. M, G, F, T, text, P. Not Q. Hmm. Very weird. That is a slime made out of ore? That sounds pretty weird. And I can do functionally zero damage to it. This was probably the wrong way to go when I'm this level and have starting weapons. Because again, I can do... Effectively zero damage to an ore slime. So, uh, here's something of note. Uh, if you pause any movie in the Amazon Prime video player and click on the X-ray button, it will tell you all of the char the actors visible on the screen and identify any music. It's quite strange and unnerving. So this is the Master Tanner's house. That purple thing is, I assume, a resource? Is that the ore I so desperately need to craft new weapons? It is! Yay! Alright, let's get this thing going. Well, that was embarrassing. Mental note, please remind me to check out... Oh, I'm out of stand focus points. That was bad. Oh, wait, did I not level up? How do I level up? Yeah, the, uh... I remember... There being a game that... Yes! Oh, okay. Yeah, you say... Wait until I'm well prepared, right? But I didn't. And it's a biome, not a biome. Okay. Oh, okay. Look for it near the road. Anyway, uh, so there's this game that was, a, you know, an old-timey brawler. A Final Fight style game, except 3D. And the deal was, as you... Um, you had, like, different combos. Like, dialed-in combos. So, like... Light punch, heavy punch, light punch was one co combo. Light punch, heavy punch, heavy punch was another. I mean, you understand the point. And when you did the third punch, it would do a special move to end the combo. And you specifically leveled up that combo, right? That. So where do you think this uh, portal is? You leveled up that combo, making it more powerful just by doing that combo. 
Which sounds great, except that gives you a really good incentive to do never do anything. But use that combo over and over again until you have beaten the entire game. Which, I will admit, is something I actually did in that game. Uh, and can you name that game, which was a 3D brawler from the PlayStation 2 era? That had that ill-conceived system? If you can, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention it, you will win a prize. Yes, sweet gold. I, I was about to comment on the fact that the horses were hovering over their legs, and then I realized I don't have legs either, so, you know, glass houses and all. But I still think there's a, like quantitative difference because I'm just hovering over my shoes but they're not hovering over their shoes they're hovering over the bottom parts of their legs and it's very creepy yes I would love that alright is this a tavern? yes sorry tavern traveling merchants I would like to help you sir uh, I would love to. I need copper ingots and softwood planks, neither of which I have. I need to craft them is the thing. Uh, what goods do you have? Okay, small bow. I've already got a bow. Wait, do I have a different bow? Oh, I should be checking the bow's stats. I see. So that bow does a lot more damage than the bow I'm currently using. Gotcha. And what about this bow? Less damage, okay. Alright, so let's uh, switch over to the bow I need. So, character, backpack, uh, right click to equip. Boom! 50% improvement in my uh, bow slinging ability. Is that a bandito? It is. Oh, right click also activates the E command. I did not realize that. Nice. Oh, please just die. How peculiar. Jump! Oh, wait, jump! All right, let's see what is through here. I mean, I know it's another biome, but specifically which biome. Ooh, green plane. Oh, it's just more green planes. Oh, by level two to four, do you mean that's what level I should be while adventuring here? Because that would make sense. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Boom. Okay. I've got you. You can just wait. So does my focus power ever go up? Like, do I ever get, you know, to charge up more uses of my special abilities or, or not so much? I was just going to ask... Do you think there's, like, a sign for where the road is? Sorry. A sign for where the portal is along the road, or maybe where one of the dungeons are, but it does not look like that's the case. So, I mean, obviously I, uh, I said no to Fallout 76 because it, you know, looked like garbage, but, uh... I gotta say, I have taken no small amount of schadenfreude, or shameful joy, fro from uh, watching a bunch of reviews. Oh, is that a dungeon? Oh. I should. Good to know. Anyway, as I was saying... Uh, yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos about how terrible the game is, and I'm like, wow, it really seems like they botched this. Whoa. I like his glowing health bar. I'm sure they do that outside, but you just can't see it, because, you know, you're outside. 
No! Alright. And yeah, everything about it seems... That's exactly what it is, Tog. So with more of a focus on combat and dungeons and whatnot. Less crafting, more uh, RPG-style adventuring. But yeah, something about like the way the AI in this game works has reminded me of the complaints about uh, Fallout 76, which is that all sorts of people were realizing when they see the... Uh, Uh, when they see the gameplay of Fallout 76, they've realized, oh, I guess, uh, the enemy design and AI in this game, in this whole game series, has always kind of been garbage. Like, every single enemy just, like, rushes straight towards you. In a way that's kind of frustrating and overwhelming. Like, they don't have unique behaviors or things they do. All of them just see you and rush towards you. Or pause and shoot you if they have a ranged weapon. But then they'll like shoot you and keep rushing and shoot you and keep rushing. Like there's no there's no tactics and there's no balance to it to make sure it's playable. And that flaw in AI and really, you know, game design was always papered over by the VATS system where you could stop time and choose your shots and it was just an awesome way to handle it. Whereas, if you remove vats from the game, you're like, oh, I guess Fallout was just garbage this whole time and we never noticed it? And that seems to be the general consensus. Which I'll admit is something I never really thought about, because I enjoyed the... Oh no, you didn't say that was a skeleton wizard? He should be labeled as such. That was bad. Gotcha, Pally. I don't want this to come across as too overly critical of the game uh, Taldora, but I'm looking forward to getting back to World War One in about three minutes. You know what? There's no way that can't sound critical. I apologize. I was hoping to see what a boss looked like, but it's not that important to me. Hey, what's that over there? Like, bounced when I hit it? That's right. I can both move and shoot, giving me a uh, pretty obvious advantage over this dude. No! Okay, I'm almost dead. And I'd be sadder about that if I was emotionally invested in this, but I think it's pretty clear that I'm not. Yes! I can still enjoy killing a dude, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, look. It's a new hood. Thanks. Wait, did my health just go down when I ate that food? No, that can't be right. Oh! There's a giant test tube that I blew up. Nice. Alright, so I think we're gonna have to... Uh, do I have a map? I don't have a map, do I? Oh, that's sad. Like I said, I was hoping to find a boss, but it's really not that much of a priority. Why am I not hitting him? Am I even firing things? Okay, I was. Aha. Oh, we got you, pal. It's all going down this time. He said, not really understanding how that phrase worked. Oof. Perfection. Oh no! Stalfos wizard! One of the worst kinds of wizard, because you're like, where'd you even get your power from? You have no life energy left, except for the one that a uh, another wizard used to reanimate you. Then I realize, oh my god, is he firing his own life energy at me? And is that a finite resource? Because that would mean he values killing me more than he values his own life. A concept I'm not happy with. Thank you. 
I've learned the skill Target Shot. That sounds gross. Let's try it out. Uh, power Crystal. Preempt preparation gets you interrupted when you receive damage. Gotcha. 400% damage. And they slow down? Oh, heck yes. Let's give that a shot. And then we are going to go play some 11-11. Uh, a game I recommend wholeheartedly. So I missed that. Well, I didn't so much miss it as there was a fallen arch in the way. A fallen column in the way, anyway. That did not do the... I mean, I know it's the same as doing three hits, but it did not have the... Like, thwomp impact I was hoping to see from it. Just keep walking sideways. He can't do anything to you. It's great. Arrows are just so slow in this game. No! So apparently Robin Hood is terrible. And not like terrible in a fun Venom way, but just like dire. Like, no one knew... Like, but as if it was made by people who hate the concept of joy. I can't imagine why I'm thinking about Robin Hood right now. Wink. Uh, seriously, though. By all accounts, it is just a terrible, terrible movie. And that makes me sad, because, you know, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Everybody likes Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And if you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to. It has this actor in it called Alan Rickman. He's the best. And I know that there's no one from a generation from the past 50 years who, who isn't aware of Alan Rickman, but I wanted to pretend for a moment like he was this obscure cult figure. Not one of the most beloved actors of the past half century, really. People just love that Alan Rickman. Do you know why? I would say 80% this little movie called Quigley Down Under. And again, if you haven't seen Quigley Down Under, you owe it to yourself to see Quigley Down Under. People are like, oh, he's the guy from Die Hard, or oh, he's the guy from Harry Potter. No, he's the guy from Quigley Down Under. And it's the best, really, Western of the 1980s. No, 1990s. Take that, Unforgiven. I know people like Unforgiven, but uh, Quigley Down Under's the better film. There I said it. Taking a bold choice that threatened to piss off no one. Yeah, I, I feel like it's weird. If this dungeon wasn't randomly generated, then I'm kind of sad. Because it has all of the hallmarks of poor random generation, which is... Well, I'm certainly... Wandering down a hallway. Fighting enemies whose placement has had... Like, no thought put into it, or... There's no build-up of... Tension leading up to the attack on a uh, boss enemy. Like, there's no gradual increase of stakes. Really nothing like that. Just just a dungeon. All right, so I'm going to call it here. Obviously, I've checked out emotionally completely. So let's move on to something else. I have been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots. Go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like... Oh. Uh, if you'd like to join me for the Discord... Sorry. If you'd like to join me for the... Come on. Uh, for the live streams for games like these get played, check out the Discord channel, because that is where I announce them. See you back here for more new and upcoming games. Yay! A belt! But until then, au revoir. So you can get an invite code to invite your friends to the game, which is kind of nice. But I can't do that because they only sent me one copy of the game. So, you know. All right, here we go. 11-11 uh, Memories Retold. I also played a little something called Pirate Island Rescue, which I encourage you to check out that video because that's a, that's a weird one. Way to go, Bandai Namco. You guys put out some classy games from time to time. It's not all Sword Art Online and games about Gundams. Although I do like Sword Art Online and games about Gundams. Well, I like Sword Art, Al uh, Art Online when it's about people shooting each other. But next best thing.
big fan of that kitten. Can't stress that enough. Okay. Fortune smiles on me, Katrin. I've made new friends. France Yay! And hey, on a bridge. We play cards when we have the time, and talk of home often. They are good men. I would I hope so. Now, stationed at Vimy as an engineer. Engineers can use the radios, and I will listen for news of Max every single day. This is the game Eleven Eleven, which is a depressing story about the and it was a few First World War. war. As you can Vimy. see, there's a war horse right I there. I was so excited. Hell, I was like a kid at Christmas. And with the major looking out for me, I wouldn't have to worry about the war. It's obviously wrong. I remember from the beginning of the game. You were in a uh, surroundings of Arras, France, Vimy Ridge, German side. Oh, taking photos. This is it, Harry. Vimy. Follow me, son. I passed through here on my way back to Canada. Hasn't changed a bit. Oof. Ah, uh, the oil painting Come. game. I'll show you where you can send letters home. Oh, I love doing that. Anybody want to get their picture taken? Okay, some gossiping soldiers. Anything else going on? Got the major looking them over. I'll get a better picture of that well. Well, if it isn't Major Barrett, welcome back, sir. I saw you in the papers, sir. Looking sharp as ever. You're too kind. Any correspondence from Canada? Ooh. Yay! Guys working on a well as the major stands nearby. Being a classy gent. Oh, who is Jaws? Not 100% clear what these guys are doing. That's what will get you through. Thanks. I appreciate the advice. Thank God for the rum. Or even the advice. Oh! It's a Sikh soldier. Ah, the wine reserve. The cornerstone of oh, really any military encampment. Uh, excuse me. Are you a photographer? Could you take my photo? My family back home would love to receive a picture of me. You're the only photographer that is. Do you mind? Not at all. I mean, I already did take your picture of, but, you know, this time it won't be stalkery. There you go. Thank you. Uh, here, I found this. It's uh, no, I haven't played the Amazing Spider-Man game. Thank you, buddy. Yet, unabridged, I'm actually just got a copy of it on the weekend. And I will be playing it soon. Look at all of those cannons. Anything else people need a picture of from back home? Oh, the wine reserve. Right, that's what I came over to do in the first place. Nice, though. Alright. It's sad that we don't uh, mark off possible sites of interest while you aren't in the camera mode. Hey, Trunk. Hey, buddy. This train here had a happy little accident. <laughs> we were laughing for days. The officers didn't find it funny, though. I'm trying to figure out exactly why. Oh, were you saying you were happy because then the train couldn't go anywhere and you couldn't keep warring? Oh, Vimy Ridge. This is not a good part of the story. They're in the British Commonwealth, Trung. So of course they were in World War One. They say the war will be over soon. They've been saying that for years. I guess four years? No, two years at this point? 
That's right, the Great War only went on four years. It's kind of amazingly small compared to wars of today. Okay. I guess that's that. Time to get moving. Let's do my speedy crouch walk. Aw, musicians. I may have lost the gen... Oh, there he is. Oof. This is 11-11. Uh, they are s Indians. They're Sikhs from India, Matty. Just one for uh, Harry Lambert. You know him? I do. That'll be from the pretty one back home, no doubt. It's a giant bag of mail for just one letter. From Julia Taylor. Oh. Dear Harry, I still can't believe you left. Our own Harry Lambert. Taking oh. photographs of the Great War. It doesn't seem real somehow. My father knows his best camera is missing. He suspects you have it, but I told him it's not in your nature. To Adorbs. Steal. Meet me by the three artillery cannons over there. Right. Will do. I'll show you the kind of photos we need. You gonna reply? Folk back on love with saving pictures. No. All right. No, I can't take any. See, I haven't developed any of today's pictures yet, so even though I have the better ones. Can I change which picture I want to send? Don't worry. She'll get your letter in a couple of weeks. Okay. Right, let's go check out these cannons, everybody. Nice sound design, too. What about the Ottoman, Matty? And these are the cannons he was talking about. Yeah, of course. Oh, mortars as well. Well, this feels like a disaster. No, that's not him. Oh, there he is. Yes, it's a little hard to pick people out when you know. Feel that, Harry? That rumble? That's the real war. Just a few miles away. So that big bastard right there is Vimy Rich. I can't wait to get my hands dirty and take it back from the Bosch. This yeah, be a funny story about that. Front page of the Star. I can see it now. There are people you meet who change your life forever. People who, whether they know it or not, Plot your life on a different course from the moment the Oh, I missed taking a picture of the plane. Oh, there it is. That was the major. I will always wonder what my life would have been like without him. Oof. Yay, we did it! It was, yes. It wasn't until after World War II that it was really completely out of the uh, British Empire. They fought against them for a long time for freedom, but it took England going bankrupt in World War II for it to finally happen. Sun grows more hopeful by the day. Yay! Every day I ask the men if they have news, if somehow they have seen our boy. And today began just like any other. But then... Neat. Wir sind beschäftigt, Kurt. I'm glad you could learn something in that case. Hast du nichts zu reparieren? Wow. Marcus is a dick. Hallo, Kurt. Wie geht's? Das schon wieder. Ich hab doch gesagt, sieht aus wie eine Uniform der zweiten Division. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie ihn wie mir waren, Gott. Tut mir leid. What? But if they didn't come to Vimy. God, trenches are creepy. Just everything about them. 
You know, until this moment, it never occurred to me that those angled steps you always see in trenches, especially in video games, were ladders that someone just laid on the side of a hill and put some dirt on to hold them in place. Oh, Arnold. Although I'd imagine that they probably have some feet to sink down into the dirt to make sure they don't shift when you're walking on them, but fundamentally it's just a ladder on an angle. Hey there, buddy, what's up? Anything? Ich habe einige Jungs aus dem Regiment getroffen. Es no, no. Some think I'm I'm mad to seek the same information from the same places. Day I think that. Day. But persistence always pays off in the end. Katrin, for today I learned of his location. Yay! I know where Max is now. Okay. How am I doing picture-wise? Ah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Excellent performance, Recruitment me. Recruitment always need good, patriotic pictures. We need more troops if we're going to win this thing. And they'll enlist That's true. because of your photos, son. Capture the imagination of your fellow countrymen. Stir the emotions. Hmm. That's Looks a lot like of pressure. Prisoners being transferred through here. I should give them the once over. Dismissed. What kind of prisoners? I've got an idea. Follow me, it'll be fun. And four pictures for the war effort. Gotcha. Alright, let's do this. Right, this is it. Jump in. Jump in. I'll take you around the camp. I'm sure you have plenty of things to photograph. I'm just window, by the way, but everyone here calls me Jazz. What's your name? I'm Harry. Pleased to meet you, Harry. Well, that was hey, a do you garbage, like garbage photograph. Me and some of the others like to play. But you should join us later. Do you play cards? <laughs> it's always so supposed to get one of the train. Oh, I missed Sorry, the wine wagon. You. you need to take your photos. I just like to make people feel welcome. Yay! If ever, if anything was going to convince people to join the uh, fight, it would be a water reserve. Okay. I love that there's a whole trainload of wine. Although I'm, I'm sure that's realistic. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. Where is Amritsar? Yeah, I'm taking a lot of depressing pictures of failure at the moment. Welcome to this side of the line, Jerry. I'm Yay, German prisoners. That one's going to help. I know it. Pleased to meet you. The major had taken a chance. He could have had any photographer he wanted, but he chose me. Nope, Trung. And I was I desperate not. not to disappoint him. Oh. Boys, listen. I really am trying to stay calm here. But you are not making this easy. Not easy at all. Oh, I need a drink. Someone keep an eye on them. Uh-oh. We should get the prisoners a drink too. It's good karma. You know this word? Karma? It doesn't matter. You get water, I'll get food. Let's go. Aww. Where do I get water exactly? Ah, oh, from the well, right. Can I get a picture of that awesome wine train? Because it's literally a train full of wine. I don't think I'm allowed to get a... Damn it! Can't believe I missed the wine train photo. Although I guess people don't want to think of their uh, soldiers in World War One as being just crazy drunks. Get it done, Harry.
Oh, pretty easy to unhook, I gotta say. There you go, guys. Have some water. That's a hella, Tommy. Did he just threaten you, Harry? Hmm. They can't be having that now. Is he gonna execute this guy? That's not ideal. Bring your camera. This may not be kind, but it is, alas, necessary. Uh oh. Jesus. Yes. Step in closer, lad. You won't get a good picture from back there. Now leave us be, Harry. And that's an order. Uh-oh. Hey, Harry. I, I just heard my unit is heading to the front. Are you heading to the front, too? <laughs> we'll have an adventure, you and Oof. Good. Gott sei Dank. Das Funkgerät ist wieder kaputt. Kannst du mal nachsehen? Ja? It's what I'm best known for. Investigating radios. Da kann ich dir nicht helfen, Kurt. Am besten reparierst du das Funkgerät. Ich habe gehört, die Ersatzteile wären heute Morgen gekommen. Sieh doch mal It's nach. True. Let's go talk to Gustav. See what he can do for me. The answer? Very little. So, where do you think Gustav would be? Hmm. That's fascinating, Trung. What's going on here? Oh, is that an elevator? Nice. Oh, an ammo lift. Oh, uh, gotcha. Tut mir leid, Kurt. Ich weiß noch nichts Neues. Oh. Ich melde mich. Should I take the ammo lift down and see what that's like? Oh, hello, a secret passageway. Seriously, excellent foley work. Sound of me walking through mud. Okay. Ah, there we go. Tunnel had a bend in it, you see. It was very frustrating. Oh, right, I was going to try out the uh, ammo lift. Here you go. Give me a ride, Chuchio. Oh, hello. And apparently there was a trophy associated with taking the ammo lift. Weird. Huh. Yeah, and it went famously poorly for everyone. Yes, that's not so cut. The Japanese invasion of Korea. It is cold at night. Well, you are below ground level and surrounded by uh, mud, so, you know. It's got to factor in somewhere. So where is this Klaus who has a cable? Ah, the Russo-Japanese War. Or at the time, Russo-Nipponese, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah, don't we all... See? Like a ladder that someone laid on its side. Ein dummer Krieg. Ich frage mich, was wohl zu Hause los ist. Oh, World War I. The war where they just sat in trenches very close to each other for years. Never really making any progress.
<laughs> that is pretty wonderful. Alright, is this Klaus? That is not Klaus. That's one of the officers I interrogated about my missing son. One of these two? Nope. Where the heck am I going? Where the hell is this cable, everybody? Alright. Ugh, Arnold always telling me to go away. That guy is the worst. Oh, nothing over here. Alright, here we go. Still not him. Who the hell am I looking for? That is pretty wonderful. Hello. Oh. Nicht schon wieder. Ich kann dir nicht helfen. Da hörst du eher was über Funko. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Apparently we can just hang out on a bench if we want to. That's nice. Oof. That cannot have been comfortable. Just more chairs to sit at. There's one thing I know about this character. It's that he loves to just chill from time to time. Oh, there he is. His name was Gustav, not Klaus. Damn it! Oh, at least I got the cable. And now, for another seat in a chair. Did I naively assume there would be a trophy for sitting in every chair? I did. Oh, that's pretty wonderful, Hans. Now I'm just thinking about Norm McDonald's uh Ich hab dir doch deine Briefe gegeben, oder? No, I Okay. I'm troubled by the news of Max. Oof. I've wept for him so much that I feel like I have already mourned his death. I know that he may yet... Damn. That was rough. About how, uh, about Germany going to war with the world. And his wonderful response. What do you think you are? Mars? Frag dich einfach durch. Irgendjemand weiß bestimmt etwas. Und wenn du mal Karten spielen willst, bist du uns immer willkommen. I would love to do that. Let's play some cards. Fixing the radio can wait. I'm gonna win it a game of cards. Slap. Reach the required score to win. Press A to slap when two cards are the same. With players, gain points if you get it wrong. Okay? Dein Glück wird nicht ewig anhalten. Das ist kein Glück, Franz. Was würde ich nicht für ein Bar tun? Ace. Findest du bestimmt keins. Und wie komme ich weg von der Front? Lass dich anschießen. Hm, klingt schmerzhaft. Ace. Aber dann kriegst du dein Bart. Ich wäre verwundet, aber sauber. Oder du wärst tot. Auf Tod kann ich verzichten. Oh, they have to be dann the exact same. Also stink ich. Fürs Vaterland. <lacht> nice. Diamonds. Spades. Diamond. Apparently I'm awesome at slaps. So I won your cigarettes from you? or Oh no, you gave me an evil thing. That's cute.
Hey, Kurt, gibt's was Neues? Manchmal nachts sehe ich die Glut ihrer Zigaretten. You know, the Russian Civil War, Communists taking over. The Russian Revolution. Maybe they weren't on any sniper rifles that good back then, but it seems like a really dangerous way to stand there, dude. All right, let's go fix the radio. And then the Russians laid in. After the revolution, of course. Or before the revolution. What am I saying? Obviously before. Hello, Kurt. Ich habe einige Jungs aus dem Regiment getroffen. Damn it, the Somme again. Oh wait, the radio room's downstairs. Apparently my history is weak today. I'd say it could happen to anyone, but it's really on me. So I checked the entire map when the, the piece of wire I needed was literally 10 feet that way. Oh, Look at the Van Gogh style painting going on around the lamp. That's nice. Okay. All right. Wait. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that took too long to figure out. There we go, and here. It wasn't even a complicated puzzle, I just wasn't paying attention. I listened to the radio for hours before I heard... Oh, this just gets Many worse and worse. Here, I will ask for a transfer. I'm sure they will understand. You say that, but I don't know that they will. The sun sets as I write this. It reminds me of home, of the life we once had. Every day I ask for a transfer to the sun, to Max. Every day I'm told no. Not until they get a new engineer? It does not work like that, Kurt. They say, I will ask again tomorrow. As the days turned into weeks, I ran out of things to photograph. I wanted to get closer to the action, to take pictures Julia would be... No! Do not, do not do that. You might have knocked me down with a feather the day Barrett came to me and said, Harry, get your camera. We're going to the front. Yay! Oh, that's going to be rough. All right, we've gotten through another chapter. We saw a, uh, a game of slaps. We saw a prisoner get executed against all concepts of justice because he turned down some water and swore. It's a, it's a rough war is what we're saying, which is going to make this a perfect place to take a break. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. This has been... Oof. Um, how shall I put this? achingly frustrating re, re, <laughs> achingly frustratingly realistic simulator of what it was like to be in the first world war 11 11 that's right lots of sitting around and being sad to not be home full of other guys who were sitting around uh sad about not being home because in the first world war no one was really fighting for any reason they were just fighting because they were fighting and everyone in the war knew that uh, making it one of the most uh, wasteful things to have happened in human history. So there's that. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up in the video version. Questions, suggestions, 
and the like go in the comments section below the video if you want to be here for the live stream where these games get played check out the discord channel since that's where i announce them i'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games but until then or excuse me au revoir oof such a downer and i have a feeling it's only gonna get worse hey i have two of the fifth oh sorry Three of the 50 trophies for the game. Oh. We're going to Passchendaele? Oh. I, uh... Just FYI, Passchendaele is another, uh... Very bad situation. Don't collide with any ghosts? Oh, they're doing a the sorrow scene! Nice! Well, wow, that's terrifying. Well, there is a good question about... Uh, I, I do know there was artillery a lot. But how constant was it? I think you'd want to check if there was artillery on the days when the game was set. Was it constantly being fired? I would have to do research about Vimy to find out. Oh, Vimy. All right. Next up, more Phantasmat, uh, which doesn't have a subtitle because it's the first game in the Phantasmat series. These days, even the first game in a series uh, would have a subtitle, but back in the days of Phantasmat, no. It was long enough ago, 24-7, uh, ugh, so terrifying, 24-7 artillery, and then of course they would build their trenches just out of range of the other guy's artillery. So you'd have these great endless fields of blown up and just torn apart earth that all of the artillery shells had destroyed. And some unexploded shells that might go off if you stepped on or kicked them. What I'm saying is uh, everything about that war was hellish. Just, just hellish. I'm already recording? That's weird. It's really weird. The thing thinks I'm already recording. But I wasn't. Okay, so it just got the color wrong. Well, that's additionally terrifying. Where'd he go, Code Minion? So that's the logo I'm looking for. Late, Smatty. Ah, gotcha. Because they're dug in so deep with the sandbags all around and coverage on top? I did not, Tron. Not if you keep your head tight. Damn. Oh, that would be disturbing. Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Phantasma. The game with, like, really, really good soundtrack. Uh, we have just gotten a hotel room in a haunted hotel. There's a slight chance that we're a ghost right now, but we're probably just investigating ghosts. It does look quite old. Also, uh, none of the people have changed at all. And who's that creepy third lady? Why is it still vertical if it's that in, bad sh in that bad shape? Let me say that. I would like to imagine we always need a little something from the kitchen, even if it's just self-esteem. All right. Well, I will use my key for that. Hidden object screen. Damn it. Creepy. All right, what's going on here? Looks surprisingly pleasant. Where are they knocking from? Gah! Why, hello there, darling. You must be the pretty new face everyone's talking about. I heard of your unfortunate luck. Just horrible. You're so pale. You should go to bed and rest. But say, maybe you'd like to visit lonely old me in my room when Creepy. you're rested. We could have a tea and chat for a while. 
I could tell you a story or two about our beautiful city. Of course, I know it's in ruins now. I'm not crazy, honey. <laughs> oh, but I was an important person there once, when it was a prosperous community, and I know all its secrets, even the nasty little ones. <laughs> oh, I see. Tell me more, creepy lady. Uh, you got a concussion in the car accident, and things are about to go horribly awry for you? No! Uh, I guess we are going to the graveyard across the lake. I mean, I suspected we were anyway, but yeah, it's always good to see. Wow, we're going to a real town later! Nice. All right, what's going on here? But why and for what reason? Oh, now the haze has gone and we're finding out what the hotel really looks like. Yeah, it turns out that was all just a projection of the ghosts. Meet me at the cliff. Done and done. First off, it's whom, but whatever. It's not. Hotel girl hugging someone, but the face of the man is covered in scribbles. Okay. Well, I was told that uh, this is the hotel girl's... I've been locked in? That's not good. Alright, I will find one then. Nice! All right, here we go. Screwdriver, hairbrush, mushrooms. Now, do you need a broom? You do not. Halibut button ring. Which one of these is a halibut? That was a halibut. Hey, creepy. All right, so I need a screwdriver, hairbrush, shrooms. You'd think the shrooms would be like underneath here. No sign of it. Aloe vera plant mug. Umbrella. Is that how you say that word? Umbrella. Screwdriver. Oh, good, another noose. So many nooses in this game. Alright, so if I were a ring, would that be me? It would! Okay, we've got a lemon up there in the light fixture, which is a weird place for a lemon, but I'm not going to judge. we got shrooms coming in. Seriously, where are the sh Oh! I forgot about the scarf. Also the toothpaste, the blue butterfly. You know, it was in plain view. I'm having real trouble seeing these mushrooms. Oh, that was the button. Okay. Oh, there are pictures of a mushroom on a towel. I was looking for actual mushrooms. That one's on me. Okay. If you were an umbrella, where would you be? Huh. No, I don't need any help from the strategy guide. Thank you for offering. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm sure we're just going to end up using the hint key, but I am searching a bit more. Let me get a little bit of a closer look. Okay, on the floor we got a snake. We got two more fishies. We've got a bra, we've got a bunch of nonsense underneath. Oh wait, is that it with a bunch of nonsense underneath the, uh, no. Uh, okay, it's not hanging anywhere. Is that it beside, nope. It's not, aha! That was not it. Really thought I, oh, it's one of the fold -em up umbrellas, so it was tiny. It was at the top of the shower glass in the far left pond, panda, of all things. A tool of many, many uses. For example, undoing screws. For another example, eerie silence. Did I really need a pin to do that, or could I have just done that uh, with my finger? Alright, I should go to the cliff viewpoint and find out who sent me this letter. I should, shouldn't I? Why did only one room go back to the way it used to look? Banana. 
book. Parrot. Paintbrush. Nutcracker doll. Turtle. Uh, do I need the avocado? I don't, do I? There's the profile. We had to find that last time. There's that creepy Egyptian thing. There's that tentacle on this screen somewhere? What? Oh, there's the turtle. Cute little guy. Yeah, I've noticed that in a lot of games. That, uh... I screw... I go... I turn screws clockwise and they come out in the game. And I'm like... I don't think you know how screws work, game. Honestly, it's been happening so many times... Uh, in games that I've kind of been like... Inured to it. Like they have tricked me into just saying, Yep, that's definitely what screws do. I mean, not so bad that I would try it in real life, but like it happens a lot in games. Alright, if you were a rose... Yeah, there you go. Tentacle and trumpet. Well, the trumpet is obviously right there. Where's the tentacle? I mean, I have to assume it's mixed in with the vines, but where? Is it the same color as the... Oh, there it is. That was creepy. Good point, game. Very good point. Back to the hotel walk-up. Over to the cliff. What? It's the only person who could have possibly you. sent us the note. I'm so glad you came. Did you get my letter? I did. Listen, it was arrived. It arrived time. via magic. Can we talk this more about place. that? Those people, they I, I just can't explain it. I mean, you see it too, right? Yeah, you're Don't all you? ghosts, I know. I tell That's you, why I'm you're wearing crazy. tattered clothes. I can prove it. Something is very wrong. Ever since that dam collapsed, I tried to get away from here, but did you hear that? Someone's coming. I need to go. Meet me on the road to the town ruins. Ask the old lady. She knows how to get there. Oh, okay. Just promise me. Promise you won't trust them. I have no intention of trusting them. You're, you all keep disappearing magically and are obviously ghosts. Still wandering around, are The whole we? town drowned, and, and yet he's a burn view. victim. It's very of weird. Of course. It's quite breathtaking. You haven't by any chance seen my assistant... Not she recently. has a disturbing tendency to occupy our busy guests. Ooh. I'm deeply sorry if she's been bothering you. Sinister. I'll make sure that it doesn't happen again. And don't pay too much attention to what she's saying. Her personal life was devastated recently. The guy with the and I'm not talking about the torn flag. out face in the pictures. So it's quite understandable that she becomes easily confused and thinks there's ghosts running around of all things. Oh, we're not searching the severed doll head thing again? Okay. Alright, let's go talk to the old lady. Who may or may not run the kitchen. Because she does seem to work here. Come on in, darling. I'm waiting. Oh, you're so creepy. Ah, welcome. Do come in. Oh, I knew you'd come, darling. I know how people work. Uh, let me guess. I've you'd disassembled like enough of them. <laughs> Who wouldn't? That it's is my wish laugh. Enticing place. What's more, no one knows it better. I was the wife of the town's mayor, you know, before he passed away. That is, oh. poor soul. Come sit. Let's have a cup of tea and chat for a while. Yes, what let's. What am I thinking? I don't. Have the full set. Can I find Honey, them for you via you a, uh, a hidden object cup? scene? And there should be a teacup in this mess somewhere. What I a happy coincidence that I so happen to be long. good at hidden objecting. I get so, so very lonely. You're so creepy. All right, let's do some hidden objecting. Color: white lily. Uh, white lily. That's a purple lily or pink lily. Come to think of it. Ballerina. Wow, photograph of her smoking. And looking fairly badass in the process. Ah, there we go. Teacup. Stain. Eyeball. Ew. Blue mascara. Is that on the eye shadow or no? Okay, so it's going to be blue mascara in a or something. Oh, no, those were the plums. Dark Feather. 
the darkest feather of all. So you can't just say feather because she's wearing it. The dummy bust is wearing a boa, which is of course made of feathers. Uh, dark feather. Oh, there it is. Blue mascara must be that one. Still, oh, that was right. Yay. Leaf, spider, dagger. Dagger like stabbed into the wall or something? No. And I still need a leaf. Alright, no leaf along the bottom. Oh, it's a kind of devious color for that uh, pa for that clothespin. As if they were trying deliberately to trick me. Nope. Oh, see, I thought that was a picture of a dagger, but it's actually a crucifix. Which, in my defense, there's a lot of crossover there visually. Oh, you're right. The leaf was in her hair in the picture on the right. Good catch. I was expecting, for no, like, for no good reason, I was expecting it to be more colorful. Okay. Dagger. Oh, now, what may you ask is the difference between a dagger and a knife? Well, the way I was taught, and I could be wrong about this, but the way I was taught was that uh, a dagger, uh, a knife, can have many, many uses. And a dagger is a subset of knife that is used for fighting and killing people. Meaning it will have a sword guard. Uh... For protecting your fingers, which many other knives would not necessarily have. I don't know if that's accurate, but that is what I was taught the difference was. In the same way that a knife, uh, that one of the things that differentiates a sword generally from a long knife like a machete is that same uh, handguard. Alright, we're just using the hint. It's fine. Oh, come on. I feel badly cheated. You got me, game. Well, she hasn't used this in quite some time, has she? Teapot. Eggs. Garlic. Seashell. Knife. Coconut. Right, we'll come back. Oh, no, there it is. About to cloth, yellow flowers, horn. I swear I just saw the horn. I could be going mad though. That's just as likely. Oh no, there it is. I did just see it. Oh! Cane. Dragon fruit. Oh. Dagger. Oh, well, there's the dragon fruit. A little uncomfortable at finding a second dagger so quickly. Especially if I end up having to use another hint on it. So, everybody keep your eyes out for a dagger. I think it'd be a little too embarrassing to have to do a hint two times in a row for uh, the exact same item. Okay, what? Oh, sorry, what is it with this hotel and tentacles everywhere? Is this some sort of a Dagon hotel? Is that a thing? A Dagon Hotel? Yes, and I'm saying that that's what uh, separates them from a... Uh, separates them from being a knife. Although, I guess ninja swords don't actually have a uh, handguard, do they? Although I guess that kind of cane sword is a special very kind of specific thing. There it is. It was the exact same dagger hidden just as deviously. But this time, because I knew what it looked like, I had the advantage. Ha ha! Thank you, honey. Now we just need that teapot from the kitchen. Done and done. I mean, I should have given oh, you the tea first. So much, tea cup darling. first. I'm just so forgetful these days. Ah, <laughs> I'm just thinking Come, of the ones from fiction. You're right, Hans. Party, just like the old days. Uh, 
You know, I used to have guests every Saturday. You did, no, did not you? here, dear. In our downtown residence. I miss it so much. Everyone important was invited. They'd all admire our house. And me. <laughs> oh, yes. I used to be a real beauty. Just I did. look at those photographs. You Men were smoking in one of them. For me. Ah, but that's all in the past. The past, the present, the future. Somehow, they all. I'm pretty sure together. those are the just same like photographs. The like they've team. made it very consistent. Oh my. I just remembered something. I used to be rather good at reading fortunes. Oh, this should be I'd fun. I'd love to read yours, sweetheart. What do you say? I, for one, would have done things differently if I had known the consequences. Ooh. Let's begin. All right, let's do it. Tarot. It's really quite simple. Just focus on the symbols on the cards. I'm doing that. Now, open your mind and look deep into your cup. Click on the symbol you see. Quickly pick the card that looks the most like it. I can do that. Okay, two crosses at the top. That mm, that's interesting. All right, so circle at the bottom. Yes, there yes, we go. Yes. Two lines and a dot. Is that one there? What would that mean? Good question. Okay, hugging people is uh, wait. That oh, one? really? Yes, really. Kind of a weird spiraling abyss nonsense is here. <laughs> I see. I see. You okay? Yes, yes. Japolige. Yes. Are we grabbing like all of the cards? I'm starting to feel like we're taking just all of the cards, which would not make for good tarot. Oh, really? Uh, yes, really. <laughs> Five and two I dots. See, I see. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, I see. It's the order we're taking them yes, in that yes, matters, yes. not whether we take them all or not. So it's a couple of dots and then one what dot on the other side. Oh, yep. really? <laughs> I see, I see. Thank you. Mm, Boom. That's interesting. All right. Focus, darling, focus. Wait, no, that was the right one, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, it was, okay, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw the dot and I got overexcited. That's on me. Good, good. Ah. Now, let's see what the future holds for you. Oh, now that is most interesting. I see a chain, a door, a maze with no exit. That sounds you are trapped in the past. Your future, taken away from you. Locked Oof. away. I see a trap. It's about to close, and you don't have much time left. I see... Oh, my. Honey, I think you'd better get used to our lovely hotel. Because you're a ghost, because and you're going to stay like forever. Because going to be here for a while. <laughs> this lady is the worst. Although we already knew that about her. Honey, I think you ah. better get used to our... Okay, that doesn't really tell me the way dear, to the... wait. Ah, There's okay. something you should know before you leave. There's an old road in the forest Thank you. leading to a crossroad. From there, you can reach the ruins of the town and also the highway. Oh. I'll tell you how to get there. It's so easy to lose your way. Go back to the old shack in the forest and take the path to the left. I would be on happy first to. Split, go left and then Come on. Go right. Then go left, left, right, left two times, and right. Finally turn left, right. right, left, left, if right. You forget these directions. You know where to find Left, me. right, left, left, right. Am I having another fainting spell? Oh no. Mysterious. <laughs> You say, let my lady, you've always been here. <laughs> Don't do that. 
I think The Shining would be much less scary if all of the ghosts had talked like that. Or a thousand times more scary. I see. Ah, thanks, Panda. Hilarious. Your comedy gold is what you are. Oh, hey, there was something I wanted to do. So, left, right, left, left, right. Oh, good, there's a ghost. I love that I still have my flashlight. Come on. Yes, we did it! With no help to, from Panda. Oh, hey, thank it's you Creepy for Girl. Coming. I was afraid you wouldn't show up. As Listen, was I. I'm sorry for what I said before. I realize how it all sounds, but it's true. We're trapped here, and something... something unnatural is going on. Look, I know you're okay. not going to leave me without proof, so I'll give you some. See that road left from here? It leads through the forest to the highway. It's okay. the only exit from here. The only escape route. Or at least it should be. The road just makes you... No, you'll just have to go and see for yourself. Shouldn't the highway I crashed off of also be an escape route? Or am I uh, reading into things? I will. First I have to go do a hidden object scene, but then I'm totally going to do that. Alright, fuel canister. Done. That's a booze bottle. Done. Glasses. No. Yes. Thermometer. Old radio. Is that a... what is that? Anyway, ye olde radio. Uh, old radio red jar robber? Oh, it's a picture of a robber. Uh, red jar, there's the red jar. So everybody please keep looking for that old radio. Uh, boots lamp bucket. Let's look at another little lamp in a natural place and that wasn't it even though it had a handle. Oh, there it is. And it said basket, not bucket. Family flute bioculars. Family flute bioculars. Now, what do they mean by family? It's a loot. No, that was an old-timey radio. I thought that was a loot, and that's why I didn't click on it. Weirdly, I'm looking for a flute, and I thought that was a loot. What could they mean by family? They're like a bunch of dolls or something? There's the bioculars. Oh, it's a picture of a family at the top right. That was embarrassing. We got there, though. That's what counts. That is too bad. Well, maybe they'll fix it down at the old junkyard and you can get back into it after you've unlocked enough of the game's vehicles. Did she tell me which way to go to get to the road? Oh, I don't know the directions. That's the joke. Okay. So while she knew the way to the hotel and the other lady knew the way here, no one knows the way out to the road. <laughs> oh, I see. What? I'm back in the hotel room? That is ominous. Uh, bear. Spider. They're literally next to each other. Star. Starfish? No, just a star. Sock. Footprint. Worm. Is that the... That is the worm. Uh, sock. Matches. Penguin. Lilies. Ah. Those are not matches. And penguin? Or pengi, if you prefer? Matches penguin. Now let's do the piranha. 
the button again, and now this we need an earring, which is that thing? Yes. Alright, so we're just down to a mattress and a penguin. That's a handprint, which to my very confused eyes, glancing quickly, looked a bit... Gah! Oh, there's the penguin. Or Pengi, as I like to call him. Matches, see who play? Oh, they're on the ground. Yeah, I eventually found that Penguin Hans. Oh, good. Well, I think you mean they're a little damp, not a little wet, but that kind of nitpickitude helps nobody, so I rescind my statement. Oh, the more times I get knocked out, the more times I find out the true nature of the hotel. Seeing its uh, truly rotten character. Oh, what's going on with their photo? That's interesting. Count the differences? Yeah. So many differences left. Okay, he's got blood on him. More blood on him. Is that one button versus two button? No. Aha, light fixture. So we got their hair. We got some plants. Oh, oh neat. Alright, so there's like three more differences. Chain. Huh. Is there something going on with his eye? He's wearing a vest. So I guess those were the original versions of them and they were transformed into these grotesque figures. Gradually over a great amount of time as they were stuck here in the hotel. Forever. I want to point out that that is a difference. I'm clicking on a difference here. So you see here? There is that weird bookcase thing here. It isn't. That is a difference. But it's not counting it. And behind her head, that might just be uh, where they've cropped it, but that one is definitely a difference. Yes, it is. Or again, that might... No, because see, there's this big shadow to the side of it, which there is not. You know what? It's not the right answer, so I'm going to stop obsessing over this, but... Oh, it was the scar on his forehead. Nice. We fixed it! Yay! And we got the key to something. I don't know what we got the key to, but I'm excited to find out. All right, what's in here? Rust remover, pear, carrot. Uh, when you say rust remover, you mean this stuff? No, you mean this stuff. Yes. And a pear is this bad boy right here. Pasta, coconut, pots. Pasta. Yeah, you're already making a calamari. I don't think that could, would go well with pasta. But I might be thinking reductively. Oh, the coconut, right. Uh, lobster. Can opener. Brussels sprouts. That's right. They're sprouts that were invented by a guy named Brussels. Sorry, Brussels. Uh, that's not true, but it sounds true. And that's what matters. It's a concept known as truthiness. Um, I don't see the lobster. No, that's not a lobster either. I guess it's naive of me to assume it would be red, because we don't actually, it didn't specify cooked lobster, did it? No, that's not it. Coin trophy duck. No, that's a giant butt. No, it was a coin. It was a giant button for a second. Sorry, I need a trophy and I need a duck. Well, that's chilling. Is this a trophy? That is a trophy. Nice. Okay, duck, duck, duck. Voice their duck. 
I picked up the lobster? Oh! Wait a minute, are you saying when I thought I was picking up a can opener, I picked up a lobster on a piece of wooden board? That's how badly I botched misidentifying something. I thought a can opener, a lo I thought a lobster was a can opener. That's really bad and does not say anything good about my, check this out, visual acumen. Thank you for telling me though, Hans. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Is it a drawing of a lobster? And then he accidentally clicked off screen, because of course he did. Uh, drawing. Oh, there's the duck. Uh, no, it's meat hanging on the right of the screen. The duck was just the same color as the back wall, which made it weirdly difficult to find. Alright, I got rust remover. Did I need rust remover somewhere? Was there something that was super rusted and I'm forgetting about? Hey, it's the evil version of her room, which honestly doesn't look that much worse. That was just being, me being mean, though. Hidden object scene? Right? Yeah. So let's check if it's the same pictures or if they've swapped them out now that it's... No, nope, same pictures. I thought they might have swapped them out. Because, you know, it's creepy now. Uh, plums, yes. Earring. That's not an earring somehow. Ring? Emerald and diamond. Okay, earring. Oh, another piano key. Nice. Dark lotus. I'm oh, sorry, pink lotus. I said it was a pink daisy uh, last time. I was uh, badly misinformed by myself. Alright. Emerald diamond butterfly. That's an emerald. That a diamond in that eye? No. Angel Stamp Earring. Oh, the blue mascara again. Letters and a cork. What is that thing? A starburst? It's probably a starburst. Weird that that doesn't count as an earring. Oh! I didn't occur to me for a second that it was that kind of stamp, Hans. I legit thought it had to be the kind that you stamp things with. Based on nothing as usual. There's the cork. So, diamond butterfly. Diamond butterfly. No, nothing there. We got a fan. Oh, there's the angel. That was cute. Okay. So, diamond butterfly earring. Again, this thing that looks a lot like an earring is not an earring. That's not... None of these weird feather and pin things are, butterf uh, are earrings. Nope. Alright, let's start looking a little more intently because this is... Butterflies on the... Oh, it's in the print of the tablecloth. Good catch, Hans. I'm very mortified now. That's right, more than a normal amount of mortified. But I found the diamond, so it recovered a lot of that. Seriously, though, where is this earring? All right, the music stopped. That's our cue to just admit we failed and hit the hint button. So let's take five seconds to look around thoroughly. Because, yeah, once the song for a hidden object scene is looped on you, you know you failed. All right, tell me. Oh, my God. I was so focused on the shrunken head earring on the other side of her head, I didn't check the right side of her head. That is... Yeah, that's bad. Now what's downstairs, if I may ask? 
we're doing another reveal transformation. Gosh damn right we are. There oh. you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. You see now? Something is keeping us here. Or someone. And as the ghosts, old, it's our duty to escape if captured. Distinct. Wait, I'm thinking of officers. The way Forget they it. look at you and the way they talk. Ooh. It all started during the flood. When Everyone we all was drowned. told to evacuate, but they decided to stay. Oh, you fools, I mean, you foolish I had to fools. stay too, but that's that's different. Why is that different? I had Were you already reasons. a ghost? Sometimes I wish I'd just left. She was already a ghost. I have this feeling they're hiding something. Some dark secret. Ooh. We just need to find out what it is. And I think I know where to start looking. Let's meet on the road to the town again. It's time to search those ruins. I'll tell you more once we get there. Or, here's an idea. And it's going to sound crazy. We go together and you tell me on the way. What? We're definitely not doing that? Okay, good to know. That would have made too much sense? I suspected there would be another hidden object scene waiting for me, and I was right. Hook. Lizard. White arrow. White arrow. Because that's a red arrow. I gotcha. Giraffe. Sneaker. All right, a hook and a light bulb. A hook and a light bulb. That is not a light bulb. That's a severed head. I'm kidding. It's obviously a bust. There's the white arrow. Rosary. No, that's just a chain. A hand pump. Is that it? No. Is that a shrimp? Is that an egg? No. That was an ancient coin. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. Honestly, I did not see that until you told me. I just could not make out that engraving. Alright. Egg. Oh, yeah, that's obviously a hand pump. I totally embarrassed I missed that one. Thank you. Rosary hand redhead sneaker. Well, redhead we did last time, so we know that's correct. glad they removed the whole thing rather than just her hair. Because, of course, then it would just be red hair, so that wouldn't have been true. Stop. Hook, sneaker, rosary, hand, egg. Is that a hand? That is it. No, that's a claw. Oh, there's the sneaker. Alright, so we're looking for a rosary. Or a hand. Or an egg. basically given up on the... Oh, there we go. Just as I was about to say... Hook. We've given up on the hook. That's the one we found. Alright. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing I can really see. We've got a bell, we've got... That was the egg! I thought that was the egg and I clicked on it way earlier! What are you doing to me, game? I feel like I'm being cheated, but that's only because I am. Uh, okay. So, Rosary is literally right there. I just couldn't see it from the angle I was at. And now we need a hand, which I'm still at a little loss of. I mean, I'd assume it'd be a drawing of a hand, but I see no evidence of that either. Because, you know, there's no people to have a hever severed hand lying around. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Just so much nope. Uh, Alright, so, we're going to use a hint for the hand. Uh, loath as I am to do that. I think it's time. Wait, did it mean glove? can't imagine that. Oh. Alright, you got me. I thought that was a glove the whole time. And Hans is like, maybe they just mean that glove. And I'm like, oh, come on, really? Alright, anything in the boiler room? So the generator... Oh, right, the generator room is just a puzzle, but there's a 
Is that an elevator? There's an elevator here. What? Oh, cool. So I needed gear to open that. Wow, how did I never look at that before? Thanks for that, Hans, because that would not have occurred to me to check for some reason. I just dismissed the glove right away. Anchor. Pendant. Pendant? Oh, that's the anchor. Although that was literally an anchor pendant, so there you go. Uh, anchor. Pendant. Candy cane. Piano key. So many piano keys. Dough nut. Butter fly. No, that's a regular fly. And that's a pinwheel. Sun. Glow. Strawberry. Treble clef. Bow. Lizard. Those are flowers, not bows. Is that a bow in the center there? And the lizard is... No, oh, that's a kraken again. So many krakens. Oh, there's the pendant. Ah, uh, okay. No sign of a bow. So you need a bow, a lizard, and a butterfly. You know, if they just asked, asked for a creepy doll face, I would have found that ages ago. There's the lizard. Alright, so a butterfly and a bow. Oh. Wow, the butterfly is pretty close to the dead center of frame, so that's a little embarrassing. And the bow's also close to the dead center of frame, as Hans just pointed out to me. Alright, I'm pretty embarrassed. Alright. Gah! Oh, hello again, darling. Do you have advice to offer? Come to admire the view. It wasn't always a lake, you know. I know, I can literally Once see the town right now. it was a beautiful town, but... Then the dam collapsed. I often come here myself, especially on a night like this. <laughs> see how clear <laughs> the water is? You can still see the rooftops. Also, the, you see the church that pokes out from there? underneath. That was our church. Our house is just a few steps away. I mean, it was. We a few steps the away biggest, and most 60 feet straight down. We in the whole town. Every woman was jealous of what I had. And I liked it that way. You're so creepy. Oh, good times. Oh my, look at the time. I'm afraid you have to excuse me. There can be there no excuse for you, villain. There are landmarks that I would like to visit as well. You're the worst. See you soon, dear. But I am intrigued by your evil. All right. Can I take a look through that again? Okay, there's still no reason to take a look through that, but I'm glad to have had the chance to do so. Alright, back to the road to town. Alright, what's your advice, lady? Thanks for getting here so quickly. Look, I normally did not I wouldn't here ask anyone to search the ruins. Part of the town is flooded and they say the place is haunted. It is but a few months haunted. ago, this strange man came to town. Ooh. He was wandering around for days. You know, like he was searching for something. Almost like I the main character of a hidden then. object. But game? now I realize we could use any help at all. After all, That's he could know something, true. right? I haven't seen him recently, but I hope he's still around. We should look for him and for any other clues to what's going on. That's actually a good idea. I like your plans. All for you, brother. Okay, nice. All right, so this is going to be a perfect time to take a break. We've just reached a new part of the town, which is going to give us something quite creepy to explore tomorrow. But until then, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. And if you'd like to see what happens next in Phantasmat, the game without a subtitle, join me back here the next time on the playlist. But until then, au revoir. Yeah, this one's good so far, and it really just goes to show how shockingly large the amount of hidden object puzzles, like hidden object screens there used to be in hidden object games, that's really just fundamentally not a thing anymore. And I miss it. Yeah, I'm probably never going to find that trophy. Ooh. We didn't do any puzzles this time, just hidden object scenes. 
Not that I'm complaining. I love hidden objects. You might go so far as to call me some sort of hidden object guru. There's an epilogue game. Of course there is. Can I save these or... Conclu conclusion theme. Because, oh my god, there's so much music in this game. Wow. And again, they wrote the word concussion. Also, there will be showdowns with all of the characters. That doesn't really surprise me. We've already figured out they're all ghosts, and for one reason or another, will want me to stay here forever. But why? And for what reason? All right. That was weird that a VLC logo came up. Uh, this is going to be the perfect time to wrap up the stream. I'd like to thank everybody who dropped by. As always, I appreciate it. And special thanks to Hans for finding all of those items in the hidden object screens. Obviously, I was not doing fantastically today, but still, double thumbs up. So, I will see you back here tomorrow. Obviously, I don't know what we're going to be playing yet. Will we finally get around to playing Spider-Man? Maybe! I've kind of been wanting to play Spider-Man, so we might just uh, boot up Spider-Man and see what that's like. Uh, which I think would be a lot of fun. Anyway, I will see you back here for that. But until then, that's right, I'm going to say...